Trade TV are joined by Mark Study, and we're on the Burns Pet Nutrition Stand. Mark, thank you for your time. It's, I think it's been a, a really busy show for Burns here, hasn't it? It's been excellent. Um, yesterday we had, a, a, I thought, a, a busier time than last year, a busier morning. Um, we bucked the trend slightly, I think, because um, other stands have said it was quiet. Um, I think part of the reason being is we, we are launching a new product, and uh, I think people are interested in it. Well, that's always something that people do want to see, and that's why yeah. they come to trade shows. So, so what's the big new launch then? Well, the new launch is um, we've decided to enter the marketplace on the grain-free um, side of things. Um, we've produced a food that is uh, a free from, um, which is free from grain. It has buckwheat as the complex carbohydrate as opposed to uh, brown rice, which our normal diets have. Um, buckwheat being a, a fruit seed, um, so it is a seed um, and known in, in circles as a, a superfood as well. It, um, a superfood, I, I say, it, um, it allows for a really good uh, recipe for a, for a food that carries on in the tradition of the Burns range. Now, Burns is a, a well-established and leader in the field of holistic foods. Yeah. Uh, something that I came across a good few years ago and I, I saw the difference it made to my dog. It's always been built on the foundation of a complex carbohydrate, which has been brown rice. Mm -hmm. We've seen a trend of you know rice and grain not being you know in vogue at the moment. Yeah. Is this a trend thing, or is it really I just something that you feel is is I right think, in terms um, of the market? To be perfectly honest, um, the food itself that we've produced it is a trend at the moment. It is a, um, a very popular food, grain free. Um, people's perception of grain, um, I believe, is as a, as a whole. Um, I think the, the, the bad one that we'd be looking at would be wheat. It's right. wheat, wheat and wheat gluten are the bad ones. Um, the people have been um, sometimes misrepresented by saying that um, you know, all grain is bad. Um, we've been going for 25 years now. The brown rice diets that John's produced are um, market leading. Yeah. We are exclusive on the marketplace. There's no other foods that are made up similar to ours. We have been copied. Yes, um, yeah, on doing, many yeah. occasions, um, which makes you feel good. We must be doing something right. Yeah. Um, we are um, currently available in many of the high street pet shops, which is another good sign. Um, and I think it just bears, um, it's going down the line that John doesn't um, truly believe in, but he's, he's a whole brain man. He's, he's always, always believed and successfully believed that whole brain is the way to go. However, um, what he's done is he's put together this new diet with buckwheat instead of brown rice. Um, but the, 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 the makeup of the food is very similar to the normal range that we have sure. here. Um, be it the, uh, it's a low protein food, it's a low fat food. Um, the, uh, the makeup of the food is the puppy would be 24% protein, which is the same as our puppy chicken and puppy lamb sure. diets. And, the adult 18 and a half percent which is the same as the original diets as well. So, so you've got puppy and adult in the range. Yes. Uh, I think at the show here you've got one flavour which I believe is duck and potato. Yes. Yeah. Uh, more on, on the horizon? Or? There, there are trialling, they are trialling some new um, proteins uh, for, for maybe extending the range. There are going to be some changes moving ahead. Um, they're in early days. It's very nice to have these things um, in stages going forward. Um, John is, is very methodical and, and we won't sort of release a food until it's been well, well and truly trialled and um, uh, John is sure that um, it will be uh, serve its purpose if you like, which all the foods do. Yeah. Now I've, I've benefited from the loyalty scheme that you have running out there in the marketplace. Yes. Is that something you, you see continuing for a you know. um, at the moment, yes, it's been a, a terrific success. Um, again, it has been copied. Um, yeah. I think a lot of our competitors may be uh, uh, quite envious of the way it has been such a success. Um, I think, I think personally, the way it has been is, uh, it has been successful is that we've trusted the people that are using it. We trust the stockists. We trust you know, the end users. Um, we've got girls that manually check the cards when they go back to our head office, so it is still done. It's not automated in any way, it's all manual. So 
um, which means that you can personally keep an eye on things and um, make sure it works well. It's, it's just so simple, uh, cards filled in, free bag goes into the card in the eighth box, box goes into a free paid envelope that we, we supply, goes up to our head office, the bag the shop gives away, we send that bag back, back to the shop directly simple and, and the customers love it, the stockists love it um, and it works really well. You seem to work very closely with your retailers because I, I know I get, when I'm talking to my retailer, a lot of advice Yeah. Uh, and that's what sets them apart for me I think, and, and yeah. how do you foster that relationship? Um, that relationship is, is fostered by, we've got a, a, an excellent team of representatives that go around and, and, um, and call on customers all over the country. Um, we've also got uh, something that's fairly unique in the industry, it's something that John I know takes a lot of pride in. We've got a, a team of nutritionists that are uh, based at Kidwelly, our head office, um, and their job is specifically to take calls from people with any any queries or they're not salespeople, the dogs come first. And yep. I've had so many um, so much feedback going into shops from people, to, um, even shop owners. Um, and I'll say to them, you know, if you're not sure about anything, um, just ring the line. It's a free phone line. It doesn't cost them anything. Um, and a lot of the shop owners say that the, the advice that they've got is excellent. And on the back of that advice, if the customer's in the shop, the sale is made. So indirectly, a sale is made by the um, philosophy of the company, which is right from nutrition uh, advice right through to um, buying in, in the shop. Which is uh, it's great. It's good. Well, we've seen that from from start to finish. You've got new products here, and yes. I'm sure. Is there anything new coming later in the year? Or? Um, we are, like I say, we've got a couple of things on there um, that we're trialling, um, but we won't um, just release anything um, without a proper reason. Um, it's a company that is celebrating 25 years this year. Right. Um, okay. So we're we're been in it for a, a long term. Uh, we're uh, well respected in the trade. Um, I think we're um, an honest company, which is good. Um, we're not um, uh, a discounting company. We, we, we've grown on word of mouth, and I think yeah. that's, that's the way to do it. We've, we've not um, done it in a short period and then down and up and down. It's been over a long period of time, and it's been steady growth over that long period. And it's, um, it's people walking their dogs. I think it worked with the loyalty scheme as well. No, that has been, yeah. Dogs, they, they've had a loyalty card, they've got a free bag, they're talking to their friends with the dogs. They say, I've got my free bag of food from such and such pet shop in High Street, um, from Burns, um, because I'm in the loyalty scheme, and it works.